Hey Khalib, how are you? Yeah. How you doing, Warren? Happy New Year. We're having some Happy technical difficulties on my end. So sorry about that. Well, you focus on that. Yeah, so we're we're good now. Okay. What's happening? Not much. Um had a good day today. How about you? Yeah, I had a good day. I got a lot of stuff done mm -hmm. that I put off in the last two weeks. So that was cool. You know? Yeah. It's good and to I see, see you. Going... I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I know, I know. I was in the office on Monday. Okay. Um, I had some stuff I had to do. Okay. But no one else was there. How was that? You missed us? <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. So welcome, Lauren. How are you? Thank you. Good. How are you? Good, good, good. You are the person I spoke to previously, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad you took some action. Yeah. We, may, we may not have a lot of people here tonight, just based on uh, the holidays. And there was a little confusion with the date of the meeting, but okay. it, won't, it won't stop us from being effective. Great. Well, thank you. And thank you, Dante, for squeezing us in. I know there was a lot of back and forth. Yeah, I don't think Dante is not on, but uh, oh, Khalib on. is. Khalib is representing the office today. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry, who's the gentleman who's representing the office? Khalib. Oh, oh Khalib. hi. How you doing, Lauren? My name is College. My nice to meet you. Happy New Year. Nice to meet you. Happy New Year to you too. Okay, you know it's seven oh one. We're going to start. Um, I don't think there's anyone from committee on, correct, Khalib? Nobody from the committee on. Right now. Okay, let's give I'll it another keep on, couple of minutes. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out on the um, chat room. See if anybody joins. Right. But so Lauren. Khalib Lauren, just so you know that I can bring this to the executive board, okay? Okay. So it, it is not a waste of time. Oh no, that's that's great. And I, I will send you the um the somewhat lengthy PowerPoint, which I can go through quick. I'll do the short version of it if I can. Okay, that's but I'll fine. Send we'll that do, try to we'll get that as much time as needed, okay? Because cool. I'm certainly very interested. This was an objective that I've had, and mm -hmm. I remember I went to your your fair last year and it rained it was raining and then i was home with covid during the fair you are, well you that's right i was that was my first time getting it my hopefully last time getting it but i yeah okay. it wasn't but i heard my staff was there so yeah i mean it was you know it was exactly i mean there were people out there but it was raining so that's mm. just the luck of the drawer yep So just tell me as background, organizationally, what you're doing here, you apply for additional grants. What we're doing. With merging doing, two associations. Yeah, we're trying to, wait, no, I just lost you for a second. Um, yeah, we're trying to merge. We've, we've started the process and actually Leslie from SBS is here too, because SBS sure. is really uh, shepherding the whole process through. But That's we true. are, yeah, so we are um, trying to merge the two bids, the Church Avenue bid and the Flatbush Avenue bid. Okay. So because currently, we do a lot of things twice, as I'm sure you can imagine with having to yes. run. <laughs> yes. So it's very, it's, there's a lot of duplicated efforts, and um, we'd like to be more streamlined. So it's a mostly administrative merger. We're not, mm -hmm. we're not raising or at, we're not asking to raise the assessment that we get every year. It would just be the two annual assessments squished together. I got um, you. Very nice. Yeah. And we fit into the Flatbush side. For one block. Hmm? 
For one block, yes. For one block, okay. And we'll see, you know, maybe I know there's been talk about expanding further. I know right. I have someone at CB mentioned it, some other people have mentioned it to me and that would be a separate process okay. to talk about it another time. Okay. All right, so Khalib, I don't think anyone else, well, they will be coming, but let's start because time is valuable. So Lauren, it's in your hands. Great, great. And Khalib, can you can you give me sharing um, abilities so I can put the presentation up? Yeah, you're good. I, I did that earlier. Oh, great, okay, thank yeah. you. Just bear with me for a moment while I get this. Uh... Well, I don't want you to see my extra stuff, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Um... Okay, we'll just leave it like this. So yes, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. So this is a hearing on the proposed merger of the two bids. Um, as I mentioned, this is a little bit wordy, so I'm just going to kind of uh, paraphrase some of these. This is the map actually of the two bids currently, and where they join together is at Church and Flatbush. That's where the Flatbush Avenue bid takes both sides of the street, and then Church Avenue bid goes from Flatbush Avenue to uh, Coney Island Avenue. And we have about 450 combined businesses, 282 properties, and about 477 storefronts. So currently we share staff, we do almost all of our programming together, even though we have separate budgets, but we, we, um, we work together on everything, but we do have to do a lot of paperwork twice. Um, quick overview of a bid, there's 76 business improvement districts in New York City, and all the businesses and properties within the geographic boundaries make up, those are the members of the bids. Um, our current assessment, which is a tax that's levied on the properties, for Church Avenue is 203,000, for Flatbush Avenue is 386,000. So our proposal is to combine them, which would put us kind of in the middle of all the bids. The, the bid with the smallest assessment in New York is over 73,000, and the largest one is over 20 million, Times Square Alliance. Um, the bids are managed by a board of directors, which is, which is mandated by law to be property owners, a few businesses, as well as representatives from the city agencies. So Leslie from Small Business Services is here representing the mayor's office. We also have the controller's office, the Brooklyn Borough President's office, and city council member up for, um, for that part of Flatbush. I'd like to put pictures in. So just some of what we do as a bid, we do community events, Thanksgiving luncheon, um, meet Santa. We had a community celebration in December. Street fairs, as you mentioned, Warren, back to school events, a lot more than that. Um, we do a lot, especially increasingly of sanitation and beautification. We pay for supplemental sanitation and graffiti removal. We are just installing city bins, which are those, this thing, it's the containerized, um, whoops, containerized garbage. And we're doing some work actually with tenants associations and residents to try to help them keep their garbage under control and reduce the rat population and other, other initiatives like that. Um, and under public safety, we're actually the lead organization in the mayor's office's commercial corridor recovery task force, which works on quality of life issues. And we're co-chair of the Bid Association's quality of life working group. We put up free security cameras. We have coming up soon under a city grant um, security patrol at least till June 30th. So that's all coming up. Wine merge. Um, as I mentioned right at the beginning, we will save staff time. We estimate about 725 hours a year are doing something that we've already done once, doing it for the other bid. So that would save a lot of, really save a lot of staff time. Economies of scale. We still have expenses that we're required to do legally, like we have to hold two annual meetings. It'd be great to just have one. And having a unified message to bring in the bids under one budget, one message, one decision-making will make it much more consistent. Um, so community boards, most of this area is in community board 14. And then this block here on Flatbush Ave, from Parkside to, Cortel, to uh, Clarkson on the east side of the avenue is in CB9.
Uh, the services that we already provide, we're going to continue. So we're actually going to go with a maximum level between the two bids. Sometimes the Flatbush Avenue bid was offering more, so we're going with that. But we're also broadening the services to allow more flexibility, like what if we suddenly decide we want to do so? We don't want to do something the way we were before. We want to shift money to something else. The, the new um, district plan, which is our governing document, gives us more flexibility. We're not removing any services. And the services are supplemental sanitation, public safety, marketing, holiday lights, economic development, and administration. The proposed budget, as I mentioned, would be the two bids current assessments squished together. And this is the way it works out based on current levels. So for sanitation, it would be 210,000, public safety, 67,000, marketing, 107, holiday lights, 50,000, economic development, 43,000, administration, 109,000, bringing the total to 589. And salaries are broken up between those, between those areas as at the levels that we end up using staff time to manage those programs. New name. So the board, the boards of directors got together. Our new name under the merge bid will be the Church Flatbush Community Alliance, which reflects a lot of what we've been doing, trying to work a lot more with community groups and local nonprofits, schools, as well as, of course, the businesses and properties that we're we're mandated to work with. Um, bid members assessments will only change slightly. And this is always, the assessment always adds up to those same numbers that I said. So it depends on things like um, the width of a property. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Um, if there's a vacant property that can actually affect everyone's assessment very slightly but it's a lot of properties. So it's spread out between that number that I mentioned before. So this is the current median is 1263 a year for church with an average of 2029 a year. For Flatbush, the median is 1165 with an average of 1969 and the merged would be 1125 median and then 1989 average. Okay, this is a very, very, a lot of words on this slide. This is our formula. This is basically what the Flatbush Avenue bids formula is now. And the reason we use the Flatbush Avenue bids formula instead of the Church Avenue bids is that the Flatbush one was revised about a year ago, well, a year and a half ago. So it's much more current. It takes into account things like commercial condominiums, which didn't exist when the Church Avenue bids um, district plan was created. So for all commercial properties, with a few exceptions that are listed below, 60% of each property's assessment would be based on footage facing the avenue, and 40% will be based on square footage. Um, if the property doesn't front on either avenue, we have a few on side streets, then it will apply to whichever side street they front, which is the same as it is now. Uh, corner properties at the intersection of Church and Flatbush we use the longest frontage that currently will only affect, that's outside your district, but it only affects the, um, the shoe store property at 884 Flatbush, which, which would be the same as what they're paying currently. And then properties on Church Avenue from East 16th to Coney Island Avenue, are the bid only runs on the commercial side of Church Avenue, which is the north side of the street. So they will only receive half the sanitation and public safety services, which is currently what's going on. And they also pay a lower assessment for that reason, which is roughly about 80% of what they would otherwise be paying. Um, we do have, under this new proposal, vacant land will be assessed almost at the same, the same formula as for active commercial properties, except since there is no commercial square footage, the 60% would still be based on frontage, but the 40% will be based on lot size until the property is, is active. It doesn't have to be filled, but it has to be rentable. And then commercial condos, as I mentioned, will also use frontage, but the um, within the building, it will be determined proportionally based on the size of the condos. And I think there's a condo at Church and Caton. I believe that that property where save a used to be is a commercial condo. 
Um, what's next? There's a process, as I mentioned, that SPS is leading us through. Um, there's some upcoming public hearings next week at Community Board 14, which is virtual, um, Thursday at Brooklyn Borough Hall in person, and Wednesday the 18th at the Department of, Department of City Planning, which also is virtual. On our Instagram, we have, um, we have links to all of these, and as new details come in, we're, we're adding that information on so people know where to go. And that is it. This is my contact info for the bid. Um, our Instagram has lots of stuff on what we've been doing, our email and phone number. And I'm going to leave that, that up for a minute. But um, That's terrific, Lauren. Uh, congratulations to you and all your stakeholders, uh, the other people on this meeting. Um, <clears throat> as I told you previously, uh, we've had a negative success with with doing what you've accomplished mm -hmm. and the the closest we came to was a flatbush avenue bid on i would say from clarkson up to empire but mm -hmm. uh one one thing i like to put in your thinking cap is just to expand it to our merchants uh i just have one question i'm just curious um the assessments to the commercial properties Mm -hmm. You have 474 people who have agreed to pay those assessments? This Well, this was done in the 80s, so I was not around when the bid was formed. And yeah. I actually, maybe Leslie can, can talk about what the process is. I don't believe that when bids are formed, every property has to agree. I think it's a no, percentage. They don't. But, yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's not optional. It's it's a it's something that was agreed to that was written into law. It's it's passed by the city council and signed by the okay. mayor, and then the Department of Finance takes that over. So it's on their, I believe, it comes on their real estate bill as okay. a tax as an assessment that they have. That's excellent. That's excellent. You don't have to. And this part is, I don't have to ask anyone. No, it, it the city okay. handles that. No, that's great. Uh, it's a big burden, um, especially well in your case, you're operating on the grants, but for volunteers. My next question is, how is the new um, developments, the condos and the apartment buildings that are being built, what is their reaction to this? I mean, this is the outreach, this is the outreach part now. Mm -hmm. And they don't, the residents don't, wouldn't be, they pay a dollar, I believe. No, so I know. that's yeah. not, yeah. So um, there is a lot of outreach to the residents besides that we've been trying to push this on social media and did an email blast to everyone who's on our email list. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I think we're more focused. Well, I'm definitely more focused on the commercial property owners because they're the ones that sure. have to pay it. It won't really impact the residents in, mm -hmm. in any way because it's the same people doing the same services that they benefit from just by being, by happening to be in a bid. They're benefiting from stuff that we're I gotcha. doing. I got gotcha. you. So what do you need from us? Um, I believe we need a letter of support. Okay. Leslie may have um, more info. Okay, Leslie. A letter of support, and I believe you have to hi <laughs> um, on Zola, the portal to to log in that your the community board is voting yes. Okay. Okay, will you send our office that information with the login and you know the link and everything? And well, the login your office should have for due to land use. Okay. Any land use issues that have gone before the community board? Okay, so prior. I'm assuming I'm assuming Dante or Kalib or me will know about this. All right, so you just need a letter of support saying that we support this merger. Yes. Okay. Okay, I will bring that up the third week of this month to the executive board. And uh, I don't think this has to go to the full board, but let's see what happens. But we totally support this. That's great. I, I do think we have a deadline though, because of the, the Tell process. Tell Leslie, me the is deadline. it the 20th? Well, we is go, it? this goes before city planning um, the 17th. 
Okay, so you're going to need a previous to our meeting. Okay, let me speak to the, the executive board. All right, I mean, this is all beneficial and you're doing great work. Great, thank um, you. My last question is, is Target, will Target be a member of your? Um, yeah, they already are. They already are. Yeah. Okay, they that's great. That's great. And the other thing I just wanted to add there was that, you know, they have those donations they give based on your purchases. So mm -hmm. maybe you can get them to squeak one into your your um, merchant association. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's in place. It's not huge money, but it's money. Okay. Yeah. It's a couple of thousand dollars. And it's right. Uh, the last thing I do want to bring you up to speed on is that uh, Community Board 9 is is a fiduciary for some violent interrupter groups. So if you have a need for that in your public safety area, let me know. Okay. Which groups? If you know uh, the time. What we need greater expectations okay. is the main one. Good people. Okay. I don't know if you need that or whatever. We needed it for Ebbets Field. So okay. well, that's what we were focusing on. It's good to know. OK. So I appreciate it. I, I apologize by the lack of attendance, but there was some confusion. And I don't know, maybe people are way up. I thought it has been quiet, but I want to thank you all. I want to thank your team. Uh, you just did an excellent job, and it's a great accomplishment. Thank you, Warren. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. So thank, thank you. you Thanks. OK, so we will be in touch. Okay, take care of yourself. Thank you, thank you too. You're safe. Bye bye. Bye. Right, thank you. Very well. You're welcome. Uh, Khalib, I think that's, we're going to call it a meeting. Okay. Um, it's important tomorrow for you to check the solar port. Okay, the solar port? If, yeah, that we have to put the letter into. I'll see if Dante or Amir is familiar with that. Okay. And then we'll do it. All right. Will do. All right. We'll be in touch. Okay, you take care of yourself and thank you for right. the good work. Bye-bye. Thank you.